are currently at the residence for the leader of the Society of Alternative Facts. This is where the leader and many of their followers live. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for allowing us to come. It's my pleasure. Please come inside. It's been quite cold this week. Please tell us who you are. I am the current leader of the Society of Alternative Facts. Before we start, would you like some water? That's not water. What? Yes, it is. I said I wanted water, not milk. What are you talking about? That's water. Uh, look at the color of it. Obviously, it's, it's milk. It's what are you cooler. talking it's about? Uh, I completely disagree. So, tell me about the Society of Alternative Facts. What do you do exactly? Well, our group was founded by my predecessor in 1946. Our mission has always been to give those who seek the truth answers about our world. We believe that it is our place to share these truths with all who wish to listen. Alternative facts, alternative facts, alternative facts, alternative facts, alternative facts. You are to release the truth. The moon looks so beautiful today. The grass is pink. I love everyone's flip flops. Member two, you, to, you are to oversee initiation of new members. Member three, you are to spread the word on the street next week. Wait, no. I have been here longer than member two has. I should be the one overseeing new member initiation. You haven't been following script for new member initiation. Member two will do the job correctly. <laughs> member three has been giving me trouble for the past several weeks, claiming that everyone should believe in some strange theories and is trying to get other members to follow suit. Our leader won't accept certain truths about a society. Those that are not a part of this group and do not agree with us, they're not human. They're aliens. Aliens? Member 3 is delusional, even insane. I've tried to tell our leader not to recruit new members from the street. I mean, most of them are aliens. And they could be trying to infiltrate our society. And I think some of the less devoted members are aliens too. And our leader just won't listen. But I am getting new support from the true believers. Uh, join us, seek the truth, there are aliens all around you. No! Join, join us, seek the truth, there are aliens all around you. Join us, seek the truth. What organization are you from? Uh, the Society for Alternative Facts. We seek the truth. Aren't alternative facts just lies? No, that is what aliens want you to believe. Why are you wearing that? You're crazy. They don't want you to question your life. I mean, that, that is an alien. You can see by the look in their eyes. They have no soul. Shut up, you freaking hobo. Take this pamphlet. Join us at our next meeting. Society for Alternative Facts. Please state who you are for the camera. I am member seven, follower of the True Society. What is the True Society? The True Society seeks to rid this organization of any non-believers, aliens. I believe that anything member three says is true. So you just look at the evidence. Anyone who doesn't believe us are obviously aliens. You see, they want to take over the earth from us by convincing others that we are liars. How did you come to this conclusion? I read Member 3's Gospel as all the information on the aliens. First, I believe that our leader was correct. That those who didn't want to believe that our society was telling the truth just didn't want to hear the truth. But then I thought there had to be a better explanation for why this is. So I heard about Member 3's Gospel. And then she told me all about the alien. They think I'm an alien. I hate aliens. They're green and little and not very nice. Look, I've never met an alien before. I'm just guessing that's what they're like. I don't believe in aliens. That's crazy. If you're hungry, you can pick a banana if you'd like one. I'm Detective Thomas of the Phoenix Police Department. I'm the lead investigator in the case against the Society for Alternative Facts. Tell us what happened. Well, several days ago, we received a phone complaint about a disturbance uh, at the residence where the Society members live. When we arrived at the scene, we encountered a fight. It appeared to be between the leader and another member of the Society. The fight had moved outside, we separated the combatants, and we arrested both of them. What was the cause of the fight? Well, it's still hard to tell, but after hours of interviews in which none of the members could get their facts straight, it appears that there was a struggle for control, but the more radical element wanted to take over the cult. If you've talked to member three, 
I wouldn't believe a word. Everything is a lie. Member 3 has been giving me more and more problems throughout the last few weeks, so I decided it was time we removed Member 3's status and ability to be involved in decisions. Everything seemed to calm down. A few days later, though, I was taking out the recycling and Member 3 came out of nowhere and attacked me. It's all Member 3's fault we're here in jail and the cops have reason to shut us down. I was running a safe, legal organization until Member 3 had to ruin it for all of us. I can't believe that Dimwit actually told you I attacked her. After my credentials were revoked, I nicely tried to talk it over with the leader, but she never agreed to meet with me. And then, I nicely confronted her outside, and now look what has happened. So what? I slapped her. I didn't deserve a rubber foot covering thrown at my back. If I were the leader, none of this would have ever happened because no aliens would have been allowed into the society in the first place. Now, all our work has gone to waste. So what are your plans now that you're out of jail and the society has been shut down? I'm so glad you asked. Ever since I've entered this wonderful place, I've had a lot of time to think. I discovered the new religion and community of Scientology, and it has allowed Member 3 and I to come to an understanding. We have decided that in order to serve the greater good, we must run for president together. It may be a bit surprising, but when we win, the country will be all the better. <laughs>